Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Education video. So in this video, I'm explaining none value in Python. It's a very simple concept, right? So I'm going to explain that concept now, none value. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel to get the notification of my new videos. Please click the bell icon. So if you, if you, and please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of a none value. So as the name suggests, in Python, there is a value called none, which represents the absence of a value. So none doesn't have anything. It is going to none means you should understand it. There is nothing in that. It's a, it represents the absence of a value. So in a none data type, there is a data type called none. In that none data type, none is the only value. In a none data type, yeah, none is the only value. Why we use this none value means this value without a value. Yes, none is a value without a value, right? It doesn't have anything. It doesn't store anything. So this can be helpful when we need to store something that won't be confused for a real value in a variable. So if, uh, if your real value, right, you should not confuse your real value with any other value. At that time, you should uh, use a none value right so that that in this in that way it will be helpful to avoid the confusions for best example what i have given what i can give means one place where none is used is return value of print because print will print something it doesn't return anything right it will print it will display the text on the screen but it does not need to return anything it means it doesn't need to return anything to the user in the same way as input. Input it will accept the input from the user. It won't return anything. It will just accept it. It will won't print, return anything to the user. In the same way print function also display the text on the screen but it doesn't need to return anything. So in that case, right, we need to use none with the print. So since all function calls need to evaluate to return value, print returns none. You know that in function calls, Every function calls need to evaluate to a return value. Every function call should evaluate to a return value. But print, only it will print the dis uh, only it will print something on the screen. But you know that every function call needs to evaluate to a return value. That's why after printing, print evaluates to none. Print returns none. For example, see spam is equal to print hello. Right? It will allow none is equal to spam see so it printed the statement hello after printing it should return something right so it is returning none so is spam is equal to none yes true why because it's printed spam is printing something it doesn't have any value so spam doesn't have any value that's why it is having none Yes, spam is equal to none, true. Okay, guys. So that's it, guys. Suppose if you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video.